In this video, we are going to cover three TradingView tips and tricks you can use for navigating the platform more efficiently. Stick around to learn more. Before we get started, if you're new to the markets, be sure to check out our free market crash course. The link is in the description box below, along with the link to the playlist of other TradingView platform tutorials. Let's go ahead and begin with our first tip, watch list setup. You can head over to the upper right hand corner and select the first icon. This is where you can begin to build your watch list. Now, if you're currently on the basic or free plan, you are only allowed one watch list. And so I'm going to show you how you can better utilize the one watch list that you have access to. So you will want to simply select the down arrow and select create new list. I'll title this one, my watch list. You can go ahead and select save. And now we can begin customizing our watch list. So let's say you are interested in trading or investing in two different markets, stocks and the Forex market. You can actually organize and compartmentalize your watch list. So let's start with stocks. What you can do is simply select the add symbol and let's type in stocks and press enter. You now have a section of the watch list that is labeled as stocks. And now let's go ahead and add a few ticker symbols. So again, you'll simply select the plus sign and then you can begin typing your ticker symbol. Let's go with spy. So you can type the ticker symbol and press enter. And as you can see, SPY has now been added to the watch list. Let's add two more ticker symbols. Let's go with Apple and Tesla. All right, so at this point, we have added three ticker symbols. Now, let's go ahead and customize this watch list even further. Let's go ahead and add our Forex section. So again, we're going to select the plus sign and then we can go ahead and type in Forex and press enter. Now we have a section for our Forex ticker symbols. Let's head back over to the plus sign and let's add a few different currency pairs. Let's go with Euro USD, GBP USD, and let's go with lastly GBP AUD. All right, so we now have our Forex currency pairs here as well. So you can see here, you're able to customize your watch list so that it can remain organized. All right, so now let's go ahead and hide our watch list so that we can focus on the chart. So you can simply select the first icon again, and that is going to allow you to hide the watch list. And so now that we have customized our watch list, you can actually quickly toggle through your watch list by simply pressing the space bar. This is going to allow you to quickly switch between the different symbols. So let's go ahead and press the space bar. And as you can see, we are now viewing Apple. If we press the space bar again, we are now viewing Tesla. And so that is how you can quickly toggle through the different symbols. Next up, let's discuss how you can hide indicators. So let's say you have a few different indicators here within the lower panels. So here I have the volume indicator and the stochastic. If you would like to quickly hide these indicators in the lower panel, you can simply double click on the chart to go ahead and hide those indicators. Now, let's say you have moving averages or another indicator displayed on the chart, you can simply hide those by selecting the hide icon here. 
and that's going to disable the moving averages. If you would like to show the moving averages again, you can simply select that icon once more. Tip number three, lock in place. So this is a very unique feature that you can utilize in order to lock your drawings into place in order to prevent them from accidentally being moved while you're panning around the chart. So let's say you want to go ahead and draw a trend line on your chart. So let's say you are viewing Tesla and we are viewing the one hour chart and you would like to draw a trend line. All right, so we have drawn an upper trend line here. So let's say you want to lock this trend line into place. You can simply click on the trend line and select the lock button. This is going to prevent you from accidentally moving this trend line whenever you're panning around the chart. So if you see here, I cannot move this trend line even whenever I click on the trend line. And so you can do this with any drawing tool. So let's say you would like to do the same for the risk to reward tool or the long position tool. Let's say you were creating a trade plan and you are looking to enter in down at this lower trend line, potentially expecting the price to push back up to this upper trend line. And then maybe you're adjusting your stop loss to meet your criteria. So now that you have your trade plan in place, again, you can go ahead and lock this drawing into place. Again, simply select the long position tool and then again, you can select the lock in order to lock it into place. So even if you are panning around the chart, you are not going to accidentally remove this drawing and your trade plan. Again, you can lock in place any drawing that you choose. We hope you found value in this TradingView tutorial. Also, be sure to check out our free market crash course. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.